Miss Malarkey Leaves No Reader Behind by Judy Finchler and Kevin O'Malley. Illustrations by Kevin O'Malley. the first week of school and this year Miss Malarkey said our class would be doing the Everybody Reads in America program. She thinks that reading is about the finest thing a person can do and she promises to find each of us a book we'll love before the end of the year. Our school is supposed to read 1,000 books by June 12. Principal Wiggins says that if we can read that many books he will dye his hair purple and sleep on the roof of the school. I'd love to see that but there's one problem. I hate reading. In October, Miss Malarkey gave me a book of scary stories. I don't like scary stories. I like video games and so do all my friends. Adwin is from Senegal. He doesn't speak English very well yet, but he really likes math. Sam is good at lacrosse. Jamal, he likes to draw. Me, I like aliens, race cars, funny jokes, chewing gum, hot sauce, and doing cannonballs at the pool. The school year is going by fast. It's already December. Everybody is reading. Everybody but me and my friends. We walked by Susie Cripps' room. Her backpack was so crammed with books, she looked like she was gonna fall flat on her back. What's in the backpack, I asked. Rocks. We saw Larry Stork reading a book on his way home. He walked right into the telephone pole. Ellen Japson ran by really fast. Where's the fire, yelled Sam. In this book I'm reading. It's great, yelled Ellen. The world is going crazy, said Jamal. We went to my house to play video games. Every time we finish a book, Miss Malarkey puts a blue ribbon on the wall with our name in the book title. She sure has put up lots of ribbons. Susie Kurtzman has 25 ribbons on the wall. Charles Dewey has 15. And Brenda Johns finished five books this week. I mean, five books in one week? How can she do that? Doesn't she eat? Miss Malarkey keeps giving me books. She says she'll find a book for me if it kills her, but I don't want her to die, so I told her I'd keep trying. When I tried to read one of them after I played video games, I fell asleep. It's February now, and Miss Malarkey is still trying to find a book I love. She gave me a fantasy book, but the names are confusing. In March, Miss Malarkey gave me a book of jokes, but I'd heard them all before. In April, she tried to book a poem. I don't know what she was thinking. Miss Marky doesn't give up easily. In May, she gave me a book about crazy mixed up explorer guys, but I lost interest before they could even set sail. It's June now and my friends came over to play video games. Everyone but Sam. Miss Marky gave him a book Friday, said Adwin. Maybe he's reading. No way, I said. He's out playing some sport. We called Sam's house. His mother said, he's busy right now. I'll have him call you when you're done. He's reading. It's been months since we started the OG Wiz Aren't Books Great program. Miss Malarkey keeps giving me books, but I just don't get it. Our class has read 275 books. Our school has read 869 books. Adwin, James, and I have read zero. Video games are just so much cooler. One day at lunch, I sat down with Sam, Adwin, and Jamal. Adwin kept looking down at his lap. Did you wet your pants or something? I laughed. Not wet, said Adwin, and he lifted up the book he was hiding under the table. Miss Marky gave me this book, good book about mask guy. His name is David Blackwell. That's great, Adwin, I said. You enjoy your stupid book, but Jamal and I are gonna be video game masters. Actually, said Jamal, I thought that was a pretty good book when I read it too, and I don't even think I like math. I like it when the guy says, I like pictures, formulas and symbols, I don't especially like them. He was a pretty cool guy. My jaw hung open. How long have you been reading books, Jamal? A while now, I guess. I didn't want to make you feel bad. See, Miss Malarkey gave me this book about a painter guy named Van Gogh. You know how I like cool pictures? This book had a lot of them. My friends read now. 
They still play video games, but not quite as much. Sometimes when they come over, they bring books and trade them. Sometimes they barely even play the video games. They talk about books. On June 10th, our school had a big assembly for the reading program. We're getting close to the goal of reading 1,000 books. The teachers brought a special sleeping bag for Principal Wiggins for when he sleeps on the roof of the school. The school has read 999 books. Our class has read 334. And how many have I read? Zero. The next day, Miss Malarkey asked me to stay after school. I thought maybe she was going to yell at me about all the books I didn't finish. I tried to like reading. I really did. I tried sport books. I tried science books, joke books, fantasy, explorer, and detective books. What was I supposed to do? When I got to Miss Malarkey's room, she had this crazy smile on her face. She said, this year I found a lot about you. I found out you don't like girl stories, dead baseball players, and mass tricks. I found out you're not mean, you don't lie, and you love video games. You like cool sneakers, and your lucky number is 15, and your favorite uncle is in the army. Your mother's name is Carol, and your father's name is Bob. This year I found out even more about you. You, my boy, like aliens, race cars, funny jokes, chewing gum, hot sauce, and doing cannonballs in the pool. And then she yelled, Have I got a book for you! I went home that day and started to read. It was the greatest book ever made. It had aliens and race cars and funny jokes and chewing gum and hot sauce and cannonballs and it even had a pool. I read right through dinner. At 10 o'clock, my mom and dad came up to see if I was feeling all right. The next day, mom wrote a note to Miss Malarkey and told me to give it to her. Okay, son, turn out the light. Hold on, I'm almost finished. Turns out I hadn't read the 1,000th book. I read number 1,001. That's okay because I got to read the greatest book ever. Miss Marky gave me a hug and said, congratulations. When school was over, everyone went outside and looked up on the roof. We yelled, good night, Principal Wiggins. Good night, students, and good job.